everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, I post videos three times a week and today's video is going to be a home and baggings come shop with me. The video is going to start off as a general look, then I'm going to go into the Halloween bits and then I'm going to go into the Christmas bits. So if Christmas is a bit too real for you, don't worry, it's just at the end of the video. But if you want to check out my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video. So starting in the general food section, when you first walk into Home and Bargains, they had lots of these Maggie seasoning packets, two for a pound. Then they had lots of new in food bits. So they had these Stroop waffles, 69p, and these are actually really good. They have caramel inside and they're so good warmed up as well. And that's a really cheap price for what they are. Then they had some Maryland cookies, these Jaffinator ones for 69p, that look so good. They had some little Haribo gift boxes for £1.49, great for a child's present. And they had these selfie lights, which are so popular to Home and Bargains for $8.99. And then they had the classic cleaning bits at the front of Home and Bargains. So they had Dettol sprays for £2. And then, of course, they had the classic Sephora scents that are great for all year round. Then, moving on to the hair section, they had these Garnier Ultimate Blends Shampoo and Conditioners. And they also had the hair mask as well for £3.49. I think I'd rather invest in the hair mask over the shampoo and conditioner. And the banana one looks so good. The makeup section looked very new. They had lots of new bits in that I've never seen before. They has glitters. They had a lot of W7 range in there as well. And the Spin by Sanctuary illuminators look really, really good. They also had these different palettes and highlighters for 99p and they also had some glow sticks, I think they're like a stick highlighter and then they had lots of lipsticks as well from the W7 range, lots of glowy products I noticed. Then they had this contour kit for 79p, again a really good price, different mascaras and they even had EOS lip balms in there, they had lots of different ones, not just on that section, but then they had obviously a big Halloween range that I can't wait to show you all the different costumes I've got, so they had a range of different ages from baby all the way to adult, so I'm just going to let you have a look. They basically had a costume for every single thing you can think of to do with Halloween, which was actually really good. And they even had some generic spooky costumes like the spider web dress there in case your child doesn't really like dressing up but wants to look a little bit spooky. Then they even had some adult Halloween costumes. They were quite simple for what they are. I mean, they were £9 and I think you could get like a nicer one in Asda or something like that, especially if you're paying for just a cloak. But they also had some wings for... Wings? They also had some wigs for different prices up to about £4. I love these Halloween headbands here. I thought they looked gorgeous. I love the spider one there for 99p. And I bet they look so good with the costume. They had so many different scary masks, even this really scary panda mask. I mean, it didn't feel that great quality to be honest for £5, but I think that would make an interesting Halloween costume. They also had obviously lots of different makeup, some things I recognised from last year, but they had lots of different accessories to go with the costume and they had some really nice decorations. They had these plastic spiders and then some plush spiders for £3.99. And I love this hanging decoration, this giant spider one for £2. I thought that was such a really good idea, especially if you're having a party. Especially if you really like decorating your house for Halloween as well. I think that would make a really good staple in your living room or something like that. Hopefully Halloween will go ahead this year and everyone can still have the parties. But obviously we don't quite know just yet. I love all the different Halloween buckets and the chicken treat tubs i think that they're very cute and simple but again they are such a cheap price for like 79p 99p they have some really nice glittery pumpkins up there for 99p but you have to be careful because the glitter does come off in your hands so it might be quite messy and they had a lot of different types of decorations i always used to go out with a glow stick and this glow stick pack looked amazing 
They also had scented bath bombs. They had a lots of bouncy balls that had glitter in. They also had lots of candles and the trick or treat scent it smells exactly like sweets. And I definitely picked one of those up. And they also have a blueberry scent in the candle as well. I thought I'd quickly show you all the party stuff in case we can have parties this year. I do like to go to my auntie's for a Halloween party. She does really good ones. I love these little solar lights. Those are really cute. So here is the gift section. It was next to the gift section for Christmas. And they have so many different slippers. So I thought I'd just show you this kind of section. They had so many soft fluffy ones. They felt just as nice as like a good pair of Primark slippers. They had some for $2.99. They had some velvet pajamas for £14. And they had like every single size, like small, medium and large. Then these really Christmassy pajamas with the Scotty dogs on for £10. And those were so cute. Then I thought I'd show you little bits of the gift section. A lot of it was actually from last year. I recognise a lot of it, so I didn't show you everything. But they have massive bath bombs for £2. They had lots of bath fizzers. And obviously your soap bath body gift set. And I really like this coconut sheet mask set. That was only £3. Then of course, going on to the Christmas section. They had so many cute bath fizzers. And they had lots of like water bottles and things like that. They had this bath fizzer set. And it really reminded me of like a Lush gift set. It had roughly four bath bombs inside. And that was only £4. And I love the wrapping of these. I think they look really nice. Then I thought I'd quickly show you all the different decorations. I didn't go into too much detail of looking at this because there was so much. But this is like the red section. The classic red Christmas colour. And they had some massive big baubles. They had smaller ones. And they also had these lovely fur stockings. I bought one of these last year and oh they are so soft. I also like putting my presents in a big jute bag. So those ones were really good as well. Then there was these silver, gold, pink decorations all to look at and I love those big baubles there for $7.99. They had gorgeous colours and this is definitely for if you have a really girly tree. They had just so many different sizes, different feature ones. Then moving on to Christmas card sections, they didn't have a big range of Christmas cards but I don't know if they're going to plan on putting any more out. Then they had some really nice glittery light up presents for $14.99. And then they even were selling Christmas trees, which was very surprising. So they had these huge candy canes here. And then they had some already made up Christmas trees. And I love that big red one at the bottom. They had these huge Santas. Now I thought these were so cute. $12.99. And I really liked the price of these i think they were actually really good value because they felt really good as well then there was a silver section i thought i'd show you the last main section of the decorations so they had red a pink a gold and a silver section full of decorations they had some great christmas toppers then obviously they have all your decorations i think these all look great around a fireplace on top of a fireplace and I think that they look so expensive. I love those big reindeers up there as well. $7.99 for those. Then they had the advent calendars again. And then they had the different wintery scents. So they had gingerbread, vanilla frosting. They had warm apple and cinnamon, candy cane. They had fig and blueberry, I think it was. And the big candles are $2.99. I always get one of these. I didn't pick one up this time, but I'm definitely going to get the gingerbread one because I got it last year and it was so good. And the tea lights are very good as well. If you fancy picking up an uh, advent calendar super, super early, then they had lots to choose from. Then they had so much chocolate. I didn't even realise how much they stocked, but they stocked so much chocolate and it all looks so good. And I love a good tin, especially at Christmas time. And they have so many cute ones. I love the little Santa and Elf one. And I really like the old radio one here. I thought it was so cute and that can be used for all year round. I really like to use them to put baking treats in all year round after I receive them. So yeah, I really love a good tin. 
then they had so many different stocking fillers and stuff like that you know the classic chocolates that you always pull out of your stocking and they had so much home and bargains definitely didn't have this much last year especially in my home and bargains like it's a full aisle of different chocolates so i'll just let you have a little look at all of these and they all range from one pound to five pound depending on if it's a massive set or it's just a simple chocolate treat Then the last section I wanted to show you was the Christmas mugs. Some were repeated from last year but they have some really nice new ones in and they really spiced up the patterns. I thought that there were some really nice designs. Some are a bit big. I love these really big ones but they are just a bit too big for my liking to put a hot drink in. I love this dog one though. I thought it was so cute. I was tempted to buy it just for the print. And then they had these really cute stacking mugs also. So that's the end of today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe if you're not already and thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video, bye!